Good evening, I'm Jim Williams. We begin with new developments tonight in the two mass shootings in Ohio and Texas. There are growing calls for new gun legislation. At a vigil in Dayton, Ohio, the scene of the latest shooting, crowds chanted, do something. Meantime, the FBI director has ordered a nationwide review to identify potential mass shooting threats and a web service will no longer host the 8chan message board where the El Paso shooter posted his anti-immigrant manifesto. It could be offline in a matter of hours. CBS 2's Hillary Lane is in El Paso tonight. The gunfire that killed nine people in Dayton, Ohio, erupted just after 1 a.m. Sunday in the city's nightlife district. Authorities say the shooting lasted about 30 seconds until they took down the heavily armed gunman identified as Connor Betts. Had this individual made it through the doorway of, of Ned Peppers with that level of weaponry, there have been a catastrophic injury and loss of life. His own sister was one of the fatalities. This man says he has known Bet since their early childhood. The kind of bets that I talked to, um, I always got along with well. In El Paso, Texas, the first mass shooting of the weekend shocked residents. A gunman killed at least 20 people Saturday morning at a crowded shopping center. The state charge is capital murder. We will seek the death penalty. Authorities are investigating the attack as an act of domestic terrorism and a possible hate crime. Shortly before the shooting, they say 21-year-old Patrick Crucius posted a racist anti-immigrant manifesto online. Officials say the suspect can be seen in surveillance photos entering the Walmart just miles from the Mexican border. People hid where they could and ran in hopes of surviving. I also remember him smirking as he raised the gun towards me in the store. President Trump expressed his condolences after the two latest mass shootings. Hate has no place in our country, and we're going to take care of it. The president said he'll make a statement Monday morning. Hillary Lane, CBS News, El Paso, Texas. The shootings in El Paso and Dayton came less than a week after a 19-year-old gunman killed three people and injured 13 others at the popular Gilroy Garlic Festival in Northern California.